Do you know that you can modify a parameter from outside of your Verilog design? Do you know that you can control the parameter values during a module instantiation? Can you tell the differences between specify parameters and module parameters? Stay tuned till the end of the episode to know all the answers. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to discuss the below points. Introduction. First, we will introduce you to the various parameters and give an overview on them in Verilog. Next, we will classify the different parameters in Verilog. Next, we will go in detail for the module parameters. Next, we will go for the parameter if param and local param to thorough example. Next, we will talk about another parameter that is specify parameters and we will follow it up with the example of it. Next, we will compare specify versus module parameters and hence we will conclude the episode. So, that is the menu for today. Without any further delay, let us begin. Introduction Verilog HDL parameters do not belong to either variable or net group. You know, right, there are integer real, this kind of variables are there and also net and where's and rage, all these things are there. We have already discussed them in previous episodes in this series. In case you have not watched, please go ahead and watch them. Next, parameters are not variables, rather they are considered as constants. So, this is the very, very important concept about the constants. Parameters are constant. Why? Because in the beginning, we assign them with a value and at some point that value is used. So, hence the parameters contain constants and variables are such thing. Those are used for continuous calculation. Their values may change with different block of code or maybe with the timing operation. So, hence the parameters are constant and not variable. Every Verilog parameter accept a range specification. So, we do have a range specification. That means we have a parameter that can begin from a range and end from a range and in between there could be multiple values. So, this range specification is there with the parameters from the birth. Verilog have two type of parameters. These are major classification module parameters and specify parameters. We will go in detail in the subsequent slides. A parameter cannot be redeclared as a net or as a variable. So, you cannot use it as a net or use it as a variable. This is not possible. The parameter, once it is declared as a parameter, that means you are declaring a text, right, as a parameter. And that text string cannot be redeclared as net or variable. So, you have to pay the use of the parameter with this particular string. We are done with this particular slide. So, let's move on to the next slide. Types of parameters in Verilog. In this slide, we will classify the different parameters and we will go in further detail and we will also sub classify them. So, here are our parameters. The parameters in Verilog can be divided into two broad categories module parameters and specify parameters. The module parameters can also be subdivided into two categories. First one is the local param and another one is the if param whereas the specify parameter has only one particular division or subdivision it is called take param in verilog we have at the end that means the leaf level we have the local param def param and spec param we will go through the example of all of this so don't worry here we are done with the classification and let's move on to the next slide module parameters Parameters represent constant and hence it's illegal to modify their value at the runtime However, module parameters can be modified at the compilation time to have values that are different from those specified declaration assignment. Since the parameters are constant, you know, right? So, they cannot be modified anywhere in the code. This is as per the definition. However, for module parameters, when we are instantiating a module, we can access the module parameters which exist in the definition of that module and at that time, we can modify it. For different instantiation, we might have different values of the parameter and this has to be done prior to the compilation of the a parameter can be modified with def param statements or in the module instance statement. We will see the example, so don't worry. This allows customization of the module instances. And typical use of parameters are there to specify delays and width of variables. Generally, in Verilog, parameters are used to specify delay or some variable. Some variable doesn't mean that you are using a Verilog variable. Some variable means which is a typically constant but can vary from one instance to another. Here we are done with this particular slide. Let's move on to the next slide. 
parameter example now we have talked about the definitions and we have seen the classification let's start our example so that you can better understand the parameters first example is that we are using parameter keyword so this you have to use when you are declaring a parameter and this is the text string which you are reserving for parameter and this you cannot use in any other variables which is the strictness for the parameter thing and you are assigning a constant value 7 to it so the constant value similar fashion we can have parameter e equal to 25 and f equal to 9 this defines two constant numbers so if you have a comma separated definition you can declare multiple parameters in one single line here you can see param we are defining parameter r equal to 5.7 r is for real right a r declares a real parameter 5.7 so the parameter values can be of different type however this should be constant and and these values cannot be changed during the operation that means the timing operation inside the Verilog. next parameter we have byte size 8 byte mask equal to byte size minus 1 so we can have the mathematics with the already defined parameter so here we are defining byte size equal to 8 and later we are defining another parameter which is byte mask which is byte size minus 1 so this mathematics also is allowed because this is constant this will be calculated during the compilation time so here if you change this value the next parameter will be impacted parameter average delay r plus f by 2 so i said the mathematical operations can be there here we have defined r and here we have defined f we are doing a mathematics with r plus f by 2 so this will give the average delay so here you can see parameter sign 3 down to 0 mark selector 0 so this is a bus type parameter and here you can see we have signed value so parameter can be signed or unsigned parameter real r1 we have 3.5e to the power 17 that means we can have real parameter with exponential form so these are constant merely this is a constant right that goes to r1 and here we declare the type that means real we can do have a type declaration of the parameter in this way here we have defined signed here we have defined real and we have assigned the value so here we are writing parameter p1 13 tick h 7e so this is a, another way of writing the parameter here you can see parameter 31 down to 0 get constant is 1 tick b1 the value converted to 32 bits so h is for hex is a hexadecimal b is for binary so this is a hexadecimal constant this is a binary constant because in verilog we don't only have the integer real and etc we do have the hexadecimal octal and binary so here we have the new constant 3 tick h4 so this is a hexadecimal constant right for the h implied for the range 2 down to 0 and here we have the new constant equal to 4 implied for at least 3 down to 0. However, the names are here same. Please try to mention two different parameters with two different names. Here it's just a mere example and we have tried to explain. So in case you have some other different parameters, don't name two parameters with the same name. Rather have a different name. Here we are done with our initial example of the basic parameters in Verilog. Let's move on to the next slide. Diff param example. So here we will see the example of the def param. We have a module is named as secret number. Then we have parameter then secret equal to zero. Next we have initial block that starts with begin and we have dollar display here. Here my secret is this and we end it and here we end the module. So this is the purpose. The module has a specific module parameter. That means this is very much tied to this module. So this is very much tied to this module this module and uh, we'll see the example how we can change the module parameter to the def param syntax here we have the module this is a test bench here def param example we have given the name we have def param then u0 dot my secret is equal to 1 1 u0 is the instance name and that instance name contains the my secret so u1 dot my secret is the internal parameter that is my secret this parameter is accessed through this syntax and we are injecting value 11 into this parameter for that u0 instance let me give another example here u1 dot my secret we are injecting value 22 so this will replace the original definition 0 which is in the module definition when we have different instances we have corresponding values for the module parameters and we change them with the def param syntax next we have the instances secret number u0 
and we have secret number u1 so you can see here that u0 is the instance of secret number that is of this module and u1 is in the similar fashion and this way with the def param definition and this way the def param usage we access and change this particular variable which is defined with a some with some initial value inside the module and here we end our test module here we are done with the dev param example and you have seen how we can access a module parameter from outside using the dev param so here we are done let's move on to the next slide local param example first we'll give two points on local param and then we'll proceed for the local param example verilog hdl local parameters are identical to the parameters except they cannot directly be modified with the dev param statements or module instance parameter value assignment you can see this module parameter local param cannot be changed with the dev param local parameters can be assigned constant expression containing parameters so this is this cannot be handled like a dev param now let us start the example module then we have the uh, module name ram model we have at different ports right address right chip select data all this and we have parameter data width is equal to one parameter ram depth 256 and we have local param you can see we are using another keyword local param to define a local param so addr width that is the address width and we have this one the function here then we have the input then addr width down to addr width minus 1 down to 0 and address so this is we are going for the input and outputs so we are defining them and here it is in out and then we define the function the function which we have used here so you can see we have local param and we use a different keyword local param for that particular usage and this cannot be modified like the if param which the example you have just seen in the previous slide and here we have the function definition and here goes the function body and we end function and we use it like this these are the equations of the module right and rest of the ram model goes here so we are not in an explicit mode of defining rather we are giving the idea how the local param can be used so if it is declared with the parameter right this can be changed with the def param right but if it is declared with the local param right it cannot be neither accessed nor changed with the def param statement so that is the difference between the def param and local param so here we are done with the utilization and example and definition of the local param so let's move on to the next slide specify parameters here we will talk about specify parameters the keyword spec param declares a special type of parameters that is intended for providing timing and delay values so this is intended for timing and delay values so this is a kind of special parameter it can appear in any expression that is not assigned to a parameter and it is not part of the range specification of the declaration so these are few points you have to get clarified in your mind apart from the basic parameter definition so from the basic parameter definition how the specify parameters are different we are going through those points specify parameters are permitted both within the specify block and in the main module body so the extent of the specify parameters are both within the specify block and in the main module a specify parameter declared outside the specify block shall be declared before it is referenced so you have to declare and then you have to use this is the funda the value assigned to a specified parameter can only be a constant expression this is very very strict parameters are always constant a specify parameter can be used for a part of constant expression for subsequent specify parameter declaration so they can be used in a expression that means we have seen already such expression for other parameters those are also true for the specify parameters unlike a module parameter a specify parameter cannot be modified from within the language but it can be modified through the sdf annotation so this is another very 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 important part like we have used the def param we have modified during the instance declaration all these things this cannot be done within the verilog language that means when you are writing the verilog language there you cannot modify the already defined specify parameter however where it can be accessed and changed from the sdf file standard delay format if those things the delays and other timing things are declared through the sdf file the tool will change them in the actual compilation time so these are sdf specific parameters which can be accessed through the sdf file 
Specify parameters and module parameters are not interchangeable. Specify parameters have a specific usage and module parameters are different. These are not interchangeable. You cannot exchange them or during the use, we cannot use one in place of another. Here we are done with the definition. Let's go to the example in the next slide. Take param example. We have a module and we have the ports here and we have input, output, where, all these things we are defined for these, all these ports, right? Now specify block containing delay statement. This is going to start specify and then we have the spec param dl1 equal to 6 and dl2 is equal to 7. We can uh, define multiple spec param using a comma separated format. Next, we have the condition here for dl1, the delay from a to q. Then we have b to q is dl2, delay from b to q. Here we have C to Q, DL2 delay from C to Q and D to Q is DL1 delay from D to Q. So you can see we have a module where we have the input A, B, C, D and we have the output Q. There are different delays we are defining from the input ports or input ports to a single output port and there we are using the DL1 and DL2 and here we, you can see these are specified here using the stake param. So these are timing values. Now you have a SDF file. There you can have a different values for the DL1 and DL2 which will override all these values that we are defining here. Next, we end the specify block. The specify block has to be started with specify and end specify will terminate the specify block and there you have to use the timing and delay values for the pick param, right? All these things and all the specify parameter values can be overridden with the SDF file where the values of this specific pick param values are different as per the delay and timing requirements. Next, we have the module definition. We have the OR instance here and we have the OR instance, second OR instance here and we have the ZOR instance here and we end the module. So you can see here we have different logical, we have different logic gates interconnected from input to the output where we have defined the different delays to the specify block and to the specify parameters. Now these are not hard coded. So once you have these things here, it goes with the module. But however, during the actual usage or in the instantiation to the SDF file, you can modify these parameters and hence the delays from input to the output of this particular module. So this is the usage of the spec param in a very simple fashion. I have explained here. Let's move on to the next slide. Specify versus module parameters. Now we have walked along a long path for the different definitions and examples of the specify and the module parameters. Let us side by side compare the specify versus module parameter. This is very important for your interview. So in the left hand side we have specify parameters and the right hand side we have the module parameters. This type of parameters are declared by the spec param keyword. This is a reserve keyword and here you can see the module parameters are declared by the parameter. Can be declared inside the specify block or within the main module. Can only be declared within the main module. So the specify block cannot contain a regular parameter but the specify parameter can go into the main module where the actual parameters or the basic primitive parameters are defined may be assigned spec params and parameters okay uh, may not be assigned for spec param this syntax can be applicable for the spec params and parameters but the reverse is not true sdf can be used to override the values the specify parameter can only be overridden that means the constant values can be overridden to the sdf file only and we have no other means to override them whereas the instance declaration parameter values and the def param can be used to override the regular parameters which are called the module parameters and one thing here i have to like verbally mention that the local params cannot be modified apart from where it is defined so here we are done with the comparison of the specify versus module parameters and let us move on to the next slide Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes, put that as in words in the comment section down below and bye for today.